Well, hello there. I'm Sandy Alnock, artist and Bible journaler here on YouTube. And today I'm going to show you how to make a chalkboard type of page for your Bible. You can use the scripture that I found to use it with, or you can choose your own as God speaks to you. And in Acts, they received the message with great eagerness and examined the scriptures every day to see if what Paul said was true. And that is something that's important for us to search the scriptures every day. And given that it is back to school time, I had kind of chalkboard on the brain. And when I came across that verse in one of my recent readings, I thought that would be a really good, very simple page to show you here on YouTube. I'm always looking for ideas that pretty much everybody can do. And you might wonder why some of my pages on my website, BibleJournalingMadeSimple.com, are more on the complex side. And in the samples section in my book, they're more complex. But I try when I'm teaching people how to do this, most Bible journalers are not, they don't come to it with the history that I come to it with. I'm an artist by trade. That's what I do. I have a lifetime of learning and everything. And I want to show you things that you can accomplish instead of just trying to show off, which does not feel like the right thing to do because that's not what this is for. It's to encourage you to engage in your Bible with whatever the Lord is telling you. So there are many places in scripture where we are commended to read the word and this kind of an idea to create a chalkboard would be great for any of those. And as you can see, I am layering a couple layers of watercolor on it and letting it dry and then ironing it if needed in between and then peeling off that washi tape so I get a crisp edge. Now you might not get a really crisp edge. It's up to you whether or not you tape it down well. Just be careful not to tape it down in such a way that when you peel it off, it ends up ripping the thing apart. So if you press too hard, that doesn't always work. What I like to do is just kind of stick it to my pants or my shirt or something or my arm so that it's not as sticky. So I'm gonna paint a little board around the outside edge. Now, if you have some washi tape that looks like wood, this would be a perfect use for that. And then you don't even have to paint it. You just stick that on there. And then you would have a wood frame for the chalkboard. This page is being done, by the way, in an interleaved Bible. Interleaved Bibles have a whole blank page in between every page of scripture. It means the Bible is extra thick, of course, because it's really big. It has more paper in it but it gives you more room to work and you don't have to be kind of just painting down a column. You could do a chalkboard though in a column on the side of your Bible. I painted a wall behind mine and this floor is a little bit more on the fancy side. I'm making some lines that indicate depth of field. So if they just kind of go backwards, you know, the, the one on the left tilts toward the center and the one on the right tilts toward the center, this will just give the person looking at it the idea that this is something in space. If they went straight down, it would not look like it's in, a, I don't know, a three-dimensional room. But this gives it just that little illusion and in a very, very simple way. And then I'll just paint some black paint in between, making this like a little checkerboard type of pattern. After that's all dry, I put a piece of paper above and beneath the Bible page and run a hot iron all over it for like 10 seconds, 20 seconds, something like that. Just don't want to do it for a really long time, but it will smooth it out mostly. It doesn't make it perfect, but smooths it out well. And then I use just a white colored pencil for the lettering on here. And the white colored pencil is going to show up nicely on that black paint. And if you use other kinds of black paint, this is black watercolor, but if you use other black paints, you might need to use like a white gel pen. But on watercolor, this pencil will look more like chalk, which is kind of fun. And what I decided, since it's all about searching the scriptures every day, I wrote the days of the week on there with little check boxes. You can use this kind of a technique for a lot of different verses in which the teaching, you just imagine someone standing in the front of the room and teaching the scripture that you've just read. What would they write on the board? What example would they use? Is there a chart or a graph they might use or vocabulary and writing out definitions of things? There's lots of different ways that you can use a chalkboard as a way to kind of re-describe to yourself what God spoke to you in that verse 
that you are journaling because it's all about what God told you as opposed to following what I do and just, you know, doing by rote what God spoke to me. I was reading through Acts and this is what he called out to me. And for you, it might be something completely different when he opens your eyes to something that you haven't seen. So be sure that you spend time reading the scriptures and not just copying what you see on the internet and that sort of thing. That is the most important part to me of doing Bible journaling is spending the time with God and doing what, what he says I should do, not just following what everybody else says. My edges on this, even though I used my tape, weren't perfect. So I just used a black pencil then to outline the outside of that and clean it up a little bit. And then I used a white gel pen to draw a few little pieces of chalk sitting on that rim of the frame of the chalkboard. And my last little step was to add check marks now in each one of those little boxes. I waited to add those in the white gel pen because I wanted them to stand out more. To call that to my mind, to my attention, I must search the scriptures daily, not just once in a while, but we need to spend time with the Lord every single day. Thank you so much for joining me for this video. I hope that you will use it for some back to school type of Bible journaling this fall. And I will see you again next week with another Bible journaling video. Have a great week. Bye-bye.